Hey! Welcome back, all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And hey, yeah! we're back on Ark. And we're definitely not on the center. <laughs> No, we're really not on the center. But it's coming out. It's coming out just a couple more days, I think. It's supposed to be. Well, we'll see. But regardless, it's on its way. So I thought I would take a few minutes to do a video on my top 10 teams for starting out on the center. Now, we've had a map that's a little bit of everything, which is, you know, the island. There's no real desert there. But you've got water and you've got jungles. And then you have Scorched Earth, which is pretty much all desert. And now we're going to have the center, which is a lot of water. There's some tames that have some unique abilities that you're probably going to want to have out there. So I'm going to run through them. Now, these are not later game tames. These are not wyverns and islas and all that kind of stuff. If you have those on other maps and you're going to bring them over, that's awesome. <laughs> there are some good tames out there that are very good multi-purpose tames. But these are some that you can start with at the very beginning. If you land naked and afraid over on the center, these are some that you can get pretty quickly and have a really good utility for your playthrough there so let's get started the first one i have for you and this is a relatively easy team to get it's not hard the carbonara the the carbuncle the carbon me is <laughs> the turtle and the turtle's a fantastic early team in the game not only because they're really easy to tame i mean you've just got to hit them with slingshots for a while but these guys once you put a saddle on them are awesome in the water you know they're kind of slow and sluggish on land but when you get them in the water they can merely move and not only that, but their health is humongous. You can certainly build that up. They don't have an oxygen bar, so they can stay under as long as you want to keep them under. And they have a pretty nasty bite when they want to get into a fight. So if you need a water horse to get started with, you really can't go wrong with a turtle. This is a pretty good, solid tame. And as a bonus, things that you put in this inventory are going to keep a little bit longer, just like you would in a preserving bin. So there's, there's that. It's a refrigerator with a head and one other thing that you can do on a turtle is you can shoot from the saddle ah pretty cool huh next up we have the anki now the anki is an air breather so great for farming on land but these guys are also awesome for farming in the water they swim pretty good they do have an oxygen bar so you have to kind of watch that yeah see they do need to have air so you maybe want to bump your oxygen up as you as you level them up but these guys are great in the water they move really pretty fast compared to what they move on the land and they can pack a wallop with their tail even in the water so grab you an anki they're easy to get fairly early on and you don't have to wait for getting a donkey later to farm metal in the water and there's a lot of metal in the water and also you can shoot from the back of an anki Next up, I have the Bizvulo, the frog. These guys are amazing multi-purpose critters. They're very fast on land. They have a huge jump. You can also shoot from the back of their saddle. And in the water, they move like crazy fast. If you need to get from point A to point B, this is a great way to get there. Another really good thing with the frogs is if you run into a pile of insects and you eat them with the frog, you're going to get cement paste, which is, you know, something you're going to need. And getting a lot of it really quick by going into a cave or into the swamp and getting the skeeters or the drones, you can uh, rack up a lot of pace without even having to worry about where beaver dams are or trying to make it with stone and height. So that is the bees of blue. Next critter I want to talk to you about is the Megatherium. These floss, they're friggin' amazing. They, these guys are tanky. They can move pretty well on the land. They're not great in the water, but if you need a caver, if he can fit in a cave, this is an awesome critter to have. So ball him up in a cryopod, take him in the cave with you if you can, pop him out in there. I realize official that might not be possible, but if you're playing on anything else or your single player game, grab you a, a sloth because when you're in the cave and even out here, you will see there's not much that aggroes to a sloth. Bug usually. And you know, that's a good thing. Let's brighten it up a little bit. If it's going to rain, you know, might as well turn the sun on, right? These guys in a cave 
they don't really have anything aggro on them. So as long as you're riding them, you won't get aggroed on most of this stuff. And if you do, and it's an insect and it bites them, they go into a kind of a rampage. They get a bonus on damage, and that comes in really handy if you're going to do the Broodmother. Bring a bunch of sloths in. You won't regret it. Next in this little progression is the sarco the sarcos these guys are fast in the water and look at this they roll and when it comes to fighting stuff you know they got a pretty mean bite they've got the roll they can definitely take care of some bad guys in the water so if you need something to get around underwater this is a great way to do it it's got a heck of a lot better bite than an icky and uh, they're not hard to catch if you do a little prep i've got a video and i'll link it up in the top right of of a trap that will catch these guys with wooden structures you don't have to have stone to get them and yeah early game you can have a sarco now you'll have to wait till you can make the saddle for them but you can have a sarco really early in the game and they're great with land or or water they can do some damage and like a lot of the ones we've talked about so far you can also shoot from saddle or sarco Let's go check the next one out. They're not necessarily in the order of ease to get, but they are all things you can get early on. In fact, you can use the trap that I'm that I've linked here. I'll link in the description too, just in case you miss a little <laughs> marker at the top of the screen. But yeah, a good trap for all these guys, pretty much. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is a dire wolf. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, it's obvious. This is a wolf, and wolves are pretty much abundant out there. They may not be easy to catch, because if they are in a pack, which they tend to do, they can really tear you up really fast, and your team, and everything else that you own. So, getting a wolf early on may seem like a pretty daunting task, but here's what I would challenge you to do. If you find wolves, especially if you find wolves that have pups, use your tames to take out the mom or pop and grab the baby if you're bringing a gigantoraptor over because you're you know transferring another server then that makes it easy to find the babies and you can pretty quickly find a wolf pup growing it up on your own and then get a mating pair and you can have a pack and no time these guys run fast they jump a long way you got a heck of a punch and you can even tell if something is getting ready to go down because there'll be a marker when you start fighting them. You can use this not just for biting stuff, but if you're trying to tame it and you're wondering if you're going to kill it by, you know, shooting it too many times, watch the color of the cross. And as long as that stays orange and doesn't go to the red side, you should be fine. And you can knock stuff out without too much of a problem. And you can see this guy's doing short work of the strikes. It's not even a challenge. These are also really good in caves because they can get through all areas and they got that awesome jump. So these are really good, if, especially if you build their weight up a little bit and then they're ready to roll. All right, the next one I have for you here is the RG. RGs are a great early game team that you build up and get the saddle for. I mean, I say early game because you can catch an RG pretty quick. As long as you can get into stone and really probably wood, you can get an RG really fast in the trap that Captain Fat Dog designed. And I'll leave a link in the description on that trap. Get you an RG. Even if you don't have the saddle, you can take it with you. It'll be your guard bird. And then once you can pick stuff up, you can pick up a lot of stuff and just drop it in a box for taming at your leisure instead of being out there in the open and getting smacked or trying to get a trap built and hope that your victims will walk into the trap. <laughs> so RGs are really good at carrying stuff. You know, you're know you going to need metal. This is a great metal hauler, especially, again, early game since you get them really quickly. And you can still use them to haul stuff even though they don't have a saddle. Just whistle them to land and then load them up and whistle them to follow you. That's the RG. All right, the next critter that I want to talk to you about is the Megalodon. The sharks are the wolf pack of sea <laughs> and i say early game because really these are are fairly easy to tame if you use a little bit of a strategy now you can build a trap and catch them in it and that kind of stuff but if you see ridges like this where sharks are right off the edge just get your crossbow 
and sit here at the edge and let them come up to you and just pop them. You may have to chase them. At some point, they're going to run. But if you've got a decent water tame, like, you know, maybe a Sarko or a uh, even a turtle, you can follow them and shoot them while you're following them until they, you knock them out. So not hard to get. Grab the saddle once you can double up to that. And then you've got a pretty formidable set of teeth when you're out here in the water. And you're going to be in the water a lot. You're going to be wanting to get that new Shastasaurus. You know you are. You want the Shastasaurus. But make sure when you're out playing with your shark that you watch out for your own oxygen. Because if you don't have a scuba suit or you don't level up your oxygen, you could find yourself in a bad spot. Oh, the least fish is going to play. All right. And he's dead. Almost dead. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. And that's just one shark. If you have several of them, then you're really going to go to town. Next up, we have the Basilosaurus. I include this in the early game creatures because, again, it's not hard to catch. You just got to go know where to look for them and know what to do. So the Basilosaurus is always going to have a pack of manas around it. It's always going to be there. So what you need is something to take out the manas. After that, it's a passive tame. You just got to feed it. It takes forever after the first feed to get to the second feed. Then they'll kind of move a little bit faster. And by the time you get to the end, you're good. A great advantage of the Basilosaurus is you get see there at the bottom right that little shield that's protecting you from the cold so if you have a base near the water or on top of the water and you get an ice cube jump in the water jump on your bacillosaurus <laughs> you'll quickly get unfrozen keep yourself from dying of hypothermia yeah i think that's what it's called so there you go there's a bacillosaurus these guys are great for hunting pretty much everything out here in the ocean again you're going to want that shastasaurus and we'll see how the taming mechanics work on that when the map comes out but in the meantime jellyfish the sundaria can't knock you off of it but here we go here's a bacillosaurus it's got all these manas around it i can just get rid of the manas and you can quickly tame one they can farm neurotoxin from the jellyfish eels don't knock you off of them and neither do the eucaryptids so if you want to go farming black pearls this is the monster to do it with the other thing they can do is they can do short work on a squid it really doesn't take them long to tear one up so great water tame again not hard to get and i'm going to show you with the next tame this is the, my number one tame to have on the center and it's it's pretty obvious why and now for my number one team for the center map, and really pretty much anyone, it's my favorite, the Baryonyx. A face only a mother could love. These guys are just, just, I love them. They are pretty fast on land. They got a decent jump if you want to take them into a cave. They're decently fast in the water. You can shoot off back of them, which makes things really good. And they have this wonderful tail whip that just decimates stuff. You know, it doesn't necessarily kill them, but it will stun them. And while they're stunned, you can chomp away. Now, the it doesn't work the way it used to on ASE, where you can constantly stun them and stun them and stun them. You can stun them, but you're going to have to take a break and then uh, come back after them. So not so much as it used to be where you could just continually to stun, uh, say, an, an alpha megalodon and munch on him. But, you know, you don't have to keep him out to be able to take him out. So quickly does short work out of pretty much everything. You guys need to leave me alone. I got, I got another thing to show everybody. But apparently they're just going to keep on after me. Okay. Or sharks. Are we going to extricate ourselves from this little situation? And we're going to go back down here. We talked about the Basilosaurus and how I said it was easy to get even early game. If you can get one of these guys, which is usually not too much of a problem, they hang out around the creeks and stuff and in the swamp and, uh, and tame it up, then take it out here into the water. Now, you can see I've got all these manas coming after me because that's what they like to do. But like I said, your your Bacillosaurus is going to have manas just all over it, protecting it. So ride by your Bacillosaurus, get all the manas to come after you, and, you know, they seem to love you when you get over here. This this map has an, an overspawn issue right now. 
So that's okay. It's a, it's still a modded map and it's in it's in transition. But uh, I'll leave a link to the map name in the description. And if you want to go play on this map? It's pretty cool and it's got pretty much every feature you want to play. I want to say it was Isaluna. I think it's the name the way you pronounce it. But yeah, really cool map if you're interested in playing something other than the you know, good lord. There's some more more manas. coming from I, I must be on a mana spawn is there everywhere okay let's get out of here come on guys okay so you can see here we've got all the manas they've attacked us we've uh, killed most of them there's one coming oh so, hey he's dead all right so the manas are all gone all we gotta do is go up to the whale and eat him they use exceptional kibble this guy would only take one and he'd be our friend so bacillus source not hard to get even early game as long as you go out and get you a Arionics to start with and you see the Zypac, I call them X-Fish, Zypactinus schools in here. These guys are pretty awesome too in a pack. They're pretty fast. They have that cool bite, but again, it's not maybe, it, it would certainly easier once you have a Baryonyx to go out there and tame one of those. Because if you've got a decent saddle on your Baryonyx, you can just sit there and keep stunning them and shooting them. Now again, this map has a little bit of an overspawn issue right now. So I'm getting way more of these guys than I probably would get on any other map right But yeah, Baryonyx or the win. Still leave me alone up here. Oh, not the manas. Of course, you know, they got to come for everything. They love a good party. The manas do. Oh, Lord. These guys are going to be up on the ground flopping around. I don't want them killing all my other stuff. That's right. Flop, baby. Flop. Okay. Got him. All good. Go for that guy, and I'm going to let him live today. Okay. <laughs> So there you go, my top 10 for, for tames that you should get early on in your travels on the center. There are other tames to bring with you. If you're coming from other maps, bring your Wyvern, bring your Thyla, bring your Dire Bears, all that kind of good stuff. They're all going to be handy. You will want some water tame because there's a lot of water in the center. And again, you're going to want that Shasta So make sure you're, you're stocking up on games to bring over if that's what you want to do. I'll be starting fresh. I'm going to go over and, uh, you know, just check it out. See how things go. And we'll, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate y'all coming out and watching the videos. It really does make a difference in getting my videos out there. It makes the, the algorithm love me a little bit more. If you've enjoyed the video, if it's been entertaining or at least informative or maybe a little bit of both um make sure you leave a like and hey if you're interested in coming out and hanging out with the ogs the link to our discord is in the description below come on out play games with us we've got a couple arc servers we'll have the center up as soon as i can and come on and play we've got cross travel set up if it's allowed on day one and yeah cross play as well so if you've got an xbox or a playstation and want to hang out with us pc people come on out we're happy to play with anybody that's looking to have some fun all right, well, thanks again for watching. Y'all take care, stay safe, be good to each other. And until next time, this is Yuli <laughs> signing out.